Spousal immunity. Hey, we don't often hear about it. What is it? Well, it's very simple, and that is that in a marital relationship, when someone, when a husband or wife tells their spouse some information that is confidential, the husband or wife can't reveal it to anybody else. I think we've often seen those old grade B movies where we see the bad guy come home and says, hey, Gladys, you know, I finally had it. I had it with that dirty rat, and I took care of him. He's gone. He's done. I dumped him in the East River. But Gladys, I know you can't tell anybody because you can't testify against me. Well, we've seen that. And we've always heard the wife can't testify against her husband, husband can't testify against her wife. Well, that changed recently in the state of New Mexico, involved a real man, David Gutierrez, who was accused of murder. And David had told his wife that he, in fact, had committed the murder. And his wife, nonetheless, when called to testify, testified that he, in fact, told her he had committed the murder. So it went up on appeal to the New Mexico Supreme Court. And there, the issue was whether or not the testimony from the wife against David Gutierrez could be admitted, he was found guilty, and whether that guilty plea was going to be upheld. Well, the New Mexico Supreme Court did something very interesting, and that is they got rid of, completely got rid of, in New Mexico, spousal immunity. And basically the court came away and said that this immunity has outlived its usefulness. They said it arose at a time in history when things were much different. And at that time in history when spousal immunity arose, a woman after marriage had no rights. Her rights were incorporated within the rights of her husband who alone could assert those rights. We're long past that. We're long past that. And we also are living in a time and place with Facebook and various other media outlets in which people are making their private lives well known. Therefore, the whole world has changed and the kind of confidentiality that the spousal immunity was intended to basically protect, which is private communications within marriage, really today are being broadcast all over the place, particularly on social media. And we find that since the world has changed and since the rights of women have changed, they now possess far more rights than they once upon a time did, we find that the whole purpose of spousal immunity no longer exists and we are getting rid of it. And the court did that, completely abolished spousal immunity in the state of New Mexico. The effect in this specific case was the murder conviction against David Gutierrez was upheld due to testimony in part from his wife. Okay, so what do we learn from this? What we learn from this is a very simple thing, and that is that the law is constantly evolving, and the law varies from state to states. We're not one country. We are 50 United States, which comprise a single country. But each state has the ability to approach things in its own way. And in this instance, we've seen that New Mexico has carved out a brand new approach to spousal immunity by completely bringing an end to it. Okay, bringing this case, we bring cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.